Good morning, children. Do you remember what we have learned in our previous science class? Let's revise parts of plant. Flower, fruit, leaf, and bird. All these parts of a plant are attached to the stem and the stem leaf fruit flower and bud grows above the ground this is one part and the part which grows below the soil is called root or roots today let us learn something more about roots There are two types of roots, children. One is called fibrous root and another one is called a tap root. Here in this video, you can see an onion plant and I am going to show you the roots of the onion plant. Let us see whether it is a tap root or a fibrous root. As you can see here children, many roots are attached to the stem. It is not a single root. It has many roots attached to the stem. So this type of root is called fibrous root. Because from the stem many roots are attached. This is a coriander plant. Children, can you see the root of this plant is completely different from the roots of the onion plant? Also, you can see below the root, there are many roots which are attached to the main root. Such type of root is called a tap root. It is a single root which is attached to the end of the stem. Children, why does a root grow under the soil? It is because soil contains water and minerals and the function of the root is to absorb water from the soil along with minerals and supply it to the different parts of the plants. Roots hold the plant firmly. It helps the plant stay fixed in the soil because the roots hold the soil tightly and it helps to support the plant stay fixed to the soil. Some plants store extra food in their roots. Some of these roots such as radish, carrot and beetroot are eaten by us. And these are the examples of few roots which are eaten by us. The plants of these roots stores their extra food in them. Now children, 
let us revise what we have learned today about roots. Take out your books, your new science books, go to page 70 and read about roots and find out five different new words that you've learned today. After this, you can watch the animated video about roots and their functions.